theory and that's the idea. It's very informative. It. it really is very mm -hmm. informative. Um, that was you know, with that BMW site, you don't have to actually pay for the um, to be a member of Log in that's right. to be able to upload and a so to do your service book yeah. and, and and the parts catalogue as well. Yeah. It's a phenomenal website. It's probably one of my favourite um, foot service portals. Yeah. The, the information on there is just fabulous. Yeah. Really, really good. It is. They've, um, they've done a terrific job. So, what challenges do you think TAT's going to face over the next five years, and how can automotive businesses assist in overcoming these challenges? That's a hard one. Um, I think um, technology is moving so fast. It's um, clearly, clearly, it's going to be a, a problem with. Um, do you think you're keeping up with it, uh, technology, or trying to? Me or TAT? TAT. Both. Um, well, I think I am. I, 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 I tr I'm constantly doing new training all the time. Uh, I'm sure you guys do too. I'm, I'm trying to keep myself up, and even if it's not purchase training, you know, even if it's um, some of the, there's a lot of online training these days that you can purchase. And I, I don't know whether you guys are familiar with AVI, Automotive Videos Inc. Fabulous training, really good training. Uh, SMP Corp is another good one. Some of the information I've learnt from these training groups is just just gold. Um, but the problem is, it's just it's it's moving exponentially now. It you is. know, like when yeah. you consider. What we've got coming now with um, um, ADIS, Advanced Driver Assistance Systems, with um, all the sonars, lidars, and radars, and everything that's on cars now, and and the, the well, I was only the other day because I love gadgets, so yeah. I'm already uh -huh. starting to look at buying um, a setup to do calibrations. A calibration for the, um, uh, the thirty sonar. grand is a start. Thirty grand is a starting point. You know, you need a whole work, a whole bay, yeah. one whole bay. Yeah, it's crazy. And that's lane changing and all that. that that's right. Changing. It'll allow you to, to calibrate all of the external sensors. Um, but but yeah, thirty grand is the cheapest I've found so far. That's just just crazy. You know, yeah. it's just crazy money. It is. But you know, it's not, it's not going away. As much as I personally, I, I I'm I'm against. Automa autonomous driving. Yeah. I, I'm I'm not for it at all. I think there's a you got to draw the line somewhere as far as you know our laziness in this world. And I think the day you take your hands off a steering wheel, I think that that's the line. Yeah, that's the line in I my totally mind. Totally agree. Yeah. Um, but it's not going away. It's it's here for, it's here to stay. So we've just got to accept that. So I would like to be just like I was ten years ago when I decided to become the diagnostic nerd in town. I think I'd like to be the one when the panel shop has to replace a windscreen. And they've got to recalibrate those, uh, the five thousand dollar windscreen, yep. and has to replace those sensors um, and needs them calibrated. I want to be the guy that they come that to. Can do that. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and uh, as far as uh, technology, in in um, in TAT, um, I think we're moving at a good steady pace. We're we're trying to, as new things are coming um, are coming out, we're trying to make them available to our members. Yeah. Um, I do all of the website and software development. We have um, uh, in our resources section, we have a diagnostic program section. And I've written about 20 programs to help members do different types of things on cars for diagnostics and repairs. Um, and, and we'll continue to, to develop and add new things like that all the time as, as, as it comes out. We, we try to stay on the on the cutting edge. <laughs> Sounds a bit lame, but we do. We do you want to really go hard. back to back to home and just give everyone a run through on the website while, while you're you know, right into it? When I go down to the Melbourne and Sydney trade shows, you know, it takes me almost a half an hour just to go, like if someone comes up and says, tell me about your website. From start to finish, it takes me roughly a half an hour and I'm dry mouth by the time I finish talking. <laughs> You know, it's um so okay so well, I'll give you 15 minutes. So the, so so Tat started off as a magazine. That was that was the essence of Tat initially. So the great thing is all of our magazines have been uploaded to the website. So even if you only join today, you can still go back and you can view all of our magazines from 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 the start. It's great. Um, we have it. No, we have a search engine here. So I'll use the, um, as I used as an example earlier, I said the P2096, P2096 isn't it? Yep. yep. Right. So if we hit search. So, yeah. It'll bring up so here you can see here, it's searched the entire website. So it's found two magazine articles. It's found five repair solutions. Boy. Four technical assistants. So it's searched, searched the entire website. We've got a video, we've got fault codes. 
So if you wanted the, the magazine article, you can see down the side there it shows down the side it shows you what they are. But if you if you're in a hurry and you just wanted to cut straight to the chase, you can just click on on that. Oops. I meant to click on that there. So if I just click on Big fat fingers, mate. Click on that. It's now narrowed it down and it'll now only just show the magazine article. So there's only two of them there. So if I click on show all types, it'll bring it back to the the whole lot. So it, it just just to simplify, you know, we haven't got time. As mechanics, we haven't got time to be yeah. stuffing around on websites yeah. trying to find stuff. So uh, uh, about about it's twelve. Not all tech savvy like you. Well, <laughs> oh, I'm a geek. Don't you worry. Yeah. yeah. So uh, that's only a fairly new addition to the website. About twelve months ago, we had a directors meeting, and I said, "Look, I think this this is just too cumbersome." We had we had initially. In, in each section, so for the scan and scope data and for the fault codes and for the acronyms and for repair solutions, they were all separate search engines. So you'd have to go into each section and then perform a search. And sure, it got you your results, but it just seemed, seemed double-handled. So, so by, being, by having that one main search engine up on that black bar there, um, it'll just search the entire website and it'll just categorise them for you, which I think it was, yeah, yeah stroke, of, stroke of genius. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's right. We don't want to waste time on the computer any longer than we need to. If we can get straight, we can get straight to where we need to be. Um, yeah, that's that's the idea of it. So, okay. So, getting back to it, so on the home page. So that that's the that's the same. This tab search here, we just decided because some of our members. I'm going to have to stand up. Okay. Some, some of our members didn't see that there, so we thought we'd just add the button there as well. But it's just, it's the same. So, oh, mate, they're, they're mechanics. They're mechanics. <laughs> okay, so the repair solutions is we have, if you submit a technical assistance and we help you fix it, once it's been fixed, it then gets published and turned into a repair solution. So re repair solutions, I'll just show you one of the current ones that we've done. So this is our, our latest ones. So if I click on that. And that shows you a repair solution from one of our members. So it originally had the check engine light on. Customers complained the engine light caused the P, what's that, A87? A87. I hate how bad my eyesight's getting. So, okay, so, and that just shows the process the diagnostic sequence, yeah. um, the fault description, and the fault solution. And we, even when we can, we try to put in the repair times of how long it took. Okay, and we've got some pretty pictures there to help through yeah. the process too. Maybe our automotive Yeah. So that's so that's our so that was our our assistance converted over to a solution. Okay, then we have the diagnostic programs that I showed a little while ago, just calculators and programs to help you through your day. We have equipment review, so if you're looking at buying a new piece of tooling, you might not want to fork out all that money until you've got a bit of feedback from other guys. So we've got quite a few reviews there and down the side there you can see our top 20 reviews, the tools that have scored and rated the best. Um, you can see there's quite a few there with zeros still, it takes time for our members to, some tools have been added but nobody's reviewed them yet. Flexible um, funnel. Yeah, of all things, of all things. But they are handy. They they're, are. They're a great they thing. They certainly are. Um, and with, and we've got a scrolling, scrolling box there that shows us our most recent reviews. And right at the top here, we've got a, a request for review. So you might be looking at a tool that isn't in our collection. So you can actually request for the, somebody to, who might have it to, to do a review on it. So we've tried, we've tried to cover all bases there. So that's our equipment review section. Um, as we all know, like scan tools these days, six, seven, eight grand. You know, it's a lot of money to spend on a tool if you're not sure what you're going to be getting. And we've seen our good scope and scan data. You've seen that. Automotive web links, this is just a, a, a compilation of um, links from catalogues, um, vehicle recalls, technical resources, there's our OE service portals. Now, our, the aftermarket information resource tab that I showed you before, or button at the bottom that we're going to be soon changing to OEM info resource, that's only for vehicles that are supported by Australia, that can be used or utilised yeah. in Australia. Down this side, that's all of them. So all of them, that includes from other countries that you might need to use other means to access them. Um, what I mean by that is um, we were talking before about how they geolock us. 
Um, they, they see our IP address, and if they know we're from a country that they don't support, they'll block you out. So we've added all of them there, and then it's up to, you know, you might need desperately to get to a Fiat or something like that. Um, and it's up to you to work out how you're going to get in there. It shows you the service portal. All you've got to do then is work out how you're going to use an international credit card and how you're going to hide your IP address. And there are means, I'm not going to tell you how, but there are means and ways of doing that sort of stuff. So we've, we've put them there for people who are a little, little bit more tech savvy um, because they can be utilised if you know what to do. Yep. Yeah. Um, that was all recorded then, wasn't it, what I just said? <laughs> um, okay, so we've got a discussion. We've got a, <laughs> we've got a cut. So we've got a discussion forum. The discussion forums, um, it's not for technical assistance. If you want technical assistance, you go to tech assistance. This is more for just general technical chit chat. You know, you can talk about anything or any, everything there. It's, um, people do put up technical requests there, but if you're in a hurry to get a response, it's not going to happen on here. Um, so that just shows you, you can buy, sell equipment on there. As I showed you before, we've got the technical service bulletins links there. Tips and tricks, you know, you might have worked out how to polish headlights a different way or something like that you want to share with your mates. So it's certainly interactive with members. Yeah. So, so we, try, we try to make it as, yeah. we try to cover as many subjects and sections as yeah. we think that might help us. So if someone had a product that. that did clean headlights really good, it was a really good product and nobody's heard of it, they yeah. could send that in with You're a few it. photos. And exactly, exactly, yep. Well, that's, um, um, that's pretty good, isn't it? We have fault code database. We have a diagnostic checklist. Now this is my biggest project at the moment. This, is, this has been a bit of a challenge. So these are just fixed diagnostic flow. Oh, it's not a touch screen, right? Um, so these are just PDF flow charts. We've got quite a few of them to help you through di oh, diagnostic wow. processes. But, wow. but, but what we're currently working on is an interactive one, one that's actually in a dynamic nature that should be smart enough to think and, and give you answers on the fly to, to different changes. Trying to make an interactive flow chart is a big challenge and we've got the whole technical team, the whole 10 of us, 12 of us actually, uh, are all working on it to try to get this happen. And so at the moment we've got, we've got these little flow charts, there's quite a few of them for different subjects, for different complaints. Um, but the hope is in the future that we're going to have a collection of all these diagnostic flow charts uh, on a, in a live sort of a way, not just, not just these, these flat-faced ones. Um, 